Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media, I'm Grant Abbott and today we're looking at the results of the childhood competition. So there weren't as many entries as normal, I blame Frank because he came up with a theme. Sorry Frank, had to, had to put it in there. Anyway, uh, let's have a look at how you've done. Okay, so first up we've got Arcadius Phoenix. I like this piece a lot, I think it's fantastic. I really like the um, spark and the smoke. Um, I think the details there really sell the piece and then the lighting that's on the character. Uh, because of this. It's just brilliant and the model itself is fantastic and I like the background colors blending in with the character but it's also popping from the background as well. Uh, really nice work. I'm really, really seeing an improvement in your work as well. It's just uh, really really good. Uh, I probably would have gone a bit more high poly in the base uh, just because we're starting to see the, um, the edges a bit but that's a really minor point. Uh, this is really brilliant. Uh, definitely a contender. I think there's another one um, that you've done later on where it's in a scene. Uh, let's have a look at that quickly. Uh, there we go. I actually prefer your first one because I think aspects of the scene let it down so the, the brick wall looks a bit glossy and there's no bump there and the grass doesn't feel like it's coming out of the ground properly. Um, I like this character um, but uh, and I, I like the depth of field and things like that but I feel like the first one the character model is actually better um, and probably although lots of time has gone into this in terms of making the scene uh, it feels a tiny bit rushed in places um, so yeah I'd, I prefer the, the first one uh, but really well done uh, really nice looking in the middle of those two we've got uh, Larcy uh, here's a nice sort of portal and uh, I love this piece again uh, nice uh, statues and details with the chains uh, it's, it's really great. The lighting's uh, lovely. Evie does this lovely job, doesn't it, um, of lighting. Uh, and obviously you've got to position the lights in the right way for um, the effect, but it's very nicely done. I really like it. Um, I think um, I would have probably, because it were not central, we're just really slightly off center, which um, I feel like doesn't work as a composition. I'd either go at an angle from over here or very central to make it symmetrical. Um, so being really slightly off center, um, isn't quite right on the eyes uh, but that's a minor point again I really like this uh, fantastic work uh, well done so now we've got uh, chemical artistry now this is an interesting one so we've got some sort of toys here uh, they I like the materials on these they feel really nice and glossy and uh, just like sort of kids toys plasticky kids toys uh, nice idea it's just a nice fun design isn't it? I like this, you could see this being in a store somewhere. And it's a good render as well, I probably would have gone infinity screen so rather than have this harsh edge here, um, have a um, sort of bevel it and then smooth it out. Uh, then you've got the uh, infinity screen, uh, but it's very nice. Uh, be careful as well with the lights, you want to try and make your background as white as possible without losing detail in your characters. So maybe a tiny bit more light on the background just to separate everything. Uh, I think that makes sense anyway. Uh, but yeah, really nice piece. Uh, I love the characters. They look really good fun. So now we've got uh, Sentrymon. Uh, so this is quite interesting. This is uh, the comment I think was something like a kid running away. Actually, because they're dressed in a suit, it doesn't look much like a kid. It feels like this is a piece where uh, you've done it and then trying to make it match to the um, a competition brief but it is quite a nice piece and it's good fun I like the uh, the paper and the sort of um, almost apocalyptic uh, style uh, landscape um, I feel like your textures here need a bit more work so um, breaking up your no, not breaking up but um, repeating uh, your tiled texture for the roof because these tiles are really massive you think about a person um, a tile is about just a, over the, a hand size and these are like a person size almost so watching out for those sort of things a bit too bumpy here on the texture as well um, it, you've got a light here and uh, a light here this this light looks uncomfortable it, it we sort of um, so we our eyes are drawn here and then here and there's not a lot going on here so I would have lit these a bit more uniformly uh, I would have brought this uh, house over to the side and had another house there uh, then we got sort of um, a real background it, it feels a bit sparse I like it though, this texture on the road is really nice and these papers look fantastic. I like the running pose as well and I do like the lighting that's coming down here. Uh, that's quite fun isn't it? 
Uh, it looks like a street light, but we haven't actually got a street light, so maybe some uh, street lamps in there uh, might have helped it to sort of uh, anchor it and fill out the image a bit more. It's, it seems a little bit sparse where it shouldn't be. Um, sometimes people do that uh, to make things look more bleak, but you'd have sort of rubbish or something at least in here. Otherwise it just looks empty rather than um, sort of desolate. Uh, but yeah, really nice piece. I do like that. Uh, fantastic work. So next we've got Not A Weeb, and we've got two images here, so I'll just uh, go... Hang on, no, we've got four images, actually. Well, that's a bit naughty, four images. <laughs> that's not at all. Uh, but that's the uh, same uh, object, so that's fine. I'll just uh, scroll through them a bit. So uh, we've got a, an axe from... I think this World of Warcraft uh, game, so childhood, is the link. Uh, and yes, it's, it's really nice, isn't it? Um, nice, interesting background with snow... Snow? Sorry, ice. And then we've got a crack here. I think the crack looks like it's sculpted on onto a low poly piece because we're sort of um, not uh, the, the the polygons were too low to sculpt on, so we're sort of losing detail. And the crack looks very bumpy. Um, in fact, a better way to do the crack would probably be with um, an overlay, um, as in a a, a um, texture that um, just multiplies it out and adds a bump or something like that, perhaps. Um, but sculpting it is fine, um, I, but it, it loses a bit of detail. I actually prefer the previous one in some ways. Um, and your bump here is a bit sort of lumpy rather than crispy. I hope that makes sense. Uh, so it's sort of got a, too much smoothness on it, so there's too much, uh, uh, was it, um, there's not enough contrast in your bump map, uh, and a harsher bump would make more sense. Also, you could add more of a glow to these. Um, so your emission, I feel like uh, needs a bit of, um, is it an emission in fact, or is it just a colour? I feel like an emission here would give a bit of brightness and then maybe add a light if, I'm assuming this is rendered in Eevee, it looks like Eevee, um, add a sort of orange light here so it sort of glows and makes other things react to the light coming from this lavery axe. I like this wooden texture, it's really nice. It looks a little bit smooth in places, but it's a, a nice texture and the ice texture looks good, I like the axe shape and the grass in between, I, I haven't actually played World of Warcraft so I'm, I'm assuming this is some sort of special axe or something in the game uh, but yes, very nice piece, well done let's uh, go to the end, so the next one is Philip the Pilot mmm, this is good, yeah I like this a lot yeah that's really nice, really nicely made <laughs> previous piece of work I recognise there uh, yeah this looks really great I like the train. It's it's a fantastic piece of work. It, I like the, the cookie crumbs as well. I'm just having a sort of look around. I like these details. So the um, the milk that's um, sort of left a mark, the, the glass. And these textures are really nice. The shadows are very harsh in places. So the, um, I would have put just another light in to soften some of these shadows around here it, it, so that it looks really high contrast in terms of and almost low key if you look up low key lighting there's really dark shadows and um, it, it, it makes it look a bit um, daunting uh, whereas uh, this sort of scene ought to be high key because it's bright and cheery uh, so another light from this direction would have made this uh, top notch but at the moment it, it just it's just lacking that because we've got such hard shadows it looks a bit unusual. Not unusual actually, I suppose it's more just um, just ominous. I love this piece here, this is really nice. They're great models, this is certainly a contender as well isn't it? This is it's really nice. Excellent work again. Now we've got Mr Squid. This is fun isn't it? I do like these isometric rooms, they look really uh, just, just lovely. <laughs> <laughs> There's something about them. I think um, the the use of colours is excellent here. Nice sort of pastely colours, and I think that's what um, uh, Philip uh, needed here, really. Um, this sort of pastely, not pastely, but can you see the soft shadows there? It looks more inviting, whereas this looks um, a little bit more ominous. Not that this isn't a good piece; it's a very good piece, uh, but that's just what would have finished it off, in my opinion, anyway. Yes, I like the um, the details. It could have possibly done with more details. Uh, this uh, that's maybe I'm being a bit harsh, but I just feel like uh, more busy shelves uh, for a 
childhood room because we've got a bit of rubbish around the bin which is nice but maybe a piece of paper on the desk as well to sort of show the working of this um, the child the studious child probably game making I would have thought <laughs> game designing uh, excellent stuff really love it nice piece and we got one from Frank uh, so Frank was uh, rushing to do this um, and was worried he wasn't going to fit it in but this is a really great piece uh, and I really like the idea so playing with the box rather than the toy uh, being the classic um, I do find that that, that uh, I see parents buying uh, these huge parent, uh, uh, what are they presents for their kids uh, and then they, <laughs> the kids just play with the box and you think oh man uh, <laughs> but such is life I suppose uh, we sort of develop this commercial attitude don't we to things um, anyway uh, that's a <laughs> slight aside let's look at the piece um, I'm liking the posters time bandits where oh man showing your age there <laughs> I think these ones are, uh, uh, are so well known but time bandits oh wow uh, that I used to love that as a kid and then we got uh, jazz drums picture uh, th this is really great Really nice, great composition. So it's, it's snowing outside, so this is Christmas, I'm assuming. Christmas with the, the drum kit as a present. I think you're, you're struggling from the same thing that um, Philippe uh, was struggling with, which is the lighting. It's really, uh, we've got really deep shadows, dark shadows. And if a room's well lit and inviting, uh, then uh, they would be softer and lighter. And maybe putting this lamp on as well would add a bit of uh, light here and just uh, break the images hard edges and sort of soften it a bit uh, but really this is great work uh, it, we're, we're getting closer Frank to to winning definitely uh, so this is actually a contender definitely uh, well done now we've got uh, uh, mon monotonic <laughs> monotonic this is a great piece as well I like these childhood scenes they're doing really well again the the same issue with the darkness and um, the shadows they're quite light this time we've used cycles by the looks of things uh, so they're a bit softer, but look at that hard shadow there. Means we've got almost like, like a spotlight on this, and um, it's like we're searching in a cupboard, perhaps, uh, which may be the idea and uh, quite clever in some ways. But it, it's not very inviting because it's what you'd use in horror lighting. That sort of hard shadows, and really we should be um, childhood, um, romanticised childhood uh, would have sort of bright lights and high key lighting, in my opinion, anyway. Unless you're childhood was, was very uh, sinister in some way. I love the ideas of the different pieces, uh, PlayStation games and this sort of, uh, which looks like a lightsaber type thing here, I think, that sort of, uh, those plasticky ones that sort of extended, yeah, it's great fun, uh, I like it. Maybe uh, having something on the wall uh, would be good as well, uh, just to break this area or change your camera angle so it's down here um, because we don't need all this sort of empty space. Uh, another great scene though, another contender. Oh, it's looking good this week, isn't it? Okay, so this was uh, Howling Cow. And they say they like breaking things as a child. So uh, we've got some uh, breakage. <laughs> it's interesting. So I think uh, just sort of trying things out, testing sort of collision objects and all that sort of stuff. Uh, physics, I should say. Not, well, physics and collisions. And a tennis ball that's on fire. Uh, very interesting. Uh, you can actually uh, submit animations if you like. I like the idea of these going over um, the image like that. That's quite clever. Um, so these going into the other uh, boxes, uh, images. Uh, clever, clever stuff. That uh, the background's kind of weird, um, but maybe that means something. I'm not sure. Uh, uh, maybe it's just the uh, trying to experiment putting objects into the background so their shadow catches and that sort of thing. Uh, looks good though, uh, very nice, well done. On to the next one, we've got Incredimals, Incredimals, <laughs> Incredimals, that makes sense. Uh, so we've got this uh, sort of, uh, apparently it's Lego, I think, a Lego building. Um, it, it's, it seems again, people are going for uh, trying to fit the theme, <laughs> perhaps, uh, maybe this one isn't. This is, uh, this is an interesting building. Uh, with the sort of Lego bricks, I'm assuming. I think I'm, I'm saying this right. I'm hope I hope I am anyway. Uh, sorry if I'm getting this wrong. There's another picture as well. Oh, so, so different lighting. Now that's that's interesting to see actually. I prefer this lighting, just the different angle. Um, yes. So you probably just entered this one second, and want to. Yeah, I, I think this is better lighting. Um, and it looks. Let's just have a look at the other one. 
Yeah, so we've got a bit of colour in the light there and lots coming from this side. Looks like an HDR and then sort of been rotated. Um, but it works, it works much better. Um, it does look very sort of Lego-y in terms of the plastic, doesn't it? But I would like a little bit more detail in the building, I think. Uh, maybe sort of, um, or, or perhaps a sort of cityscape or something like that. It's, it's a nice piece. Um, but to, to go to the next level, I think that's what we need. Uh, nice work though, well done. And this is from uh, Cherry Foxes. This is nice, isn't it? Yep, I like this. So this is um, a child, apparently. <laughs> so uh, I think they said something about a 12-year-old or something like that. I think, again, uh, trying to fit the scene uh, and wanting to do a character, perhaps, which is fair enough. I can understand that. I like the idea behind um, the foreground elements, but it looks like it's just been um, sort of added in post and we've got a bit of blurring in our image going on there, which is not quite working. I, I like the model though, and I like the pose. Uh, that's quite a nice angle. It looks a little bit sinister, because we look like we're spying on her. <laughs> uh, that's what usually we got this sort of uh, vignette and coming from a distance, it looks like we're up a tree uh, spying on this person. So uh, that could mean, that it gives it a bit of a story in a sense that someone could be overlooking or <laughs> a sinister aspect to it perhaps uh, but um, if we wanted it to be a bit more sort of romantic and dreamy um, and innocent then we'll probably go away from this sort of um, spying on uh, style uh, the model is really great though I love the dress um, actually I suppose it's sort of overcoat in fact isn't it because it's snow um, but yeah that's that's really nice a lovely piece of that nice uh, details in the shoes yeah really fantastic I would have liked to have seen the face actually and focus more on the model. I can see why you'd want to put it in the scene um, to sort of create a story, like I was saying. But um, I, would, I would like to see the model as well because it looks a really great model. Uh, nice work though, really, really well done from Cherry Foxes there. I think that's everybody, isn't it? So I've got to decide who is the winner. Let's have a look through again. Sort of just quick look through, really nice pieces. There's some no lovely scenes, isn't there, um, here. And uh, yep, Frank, I like the isometric view. That's definitely a contender. That's really, really nice. And then we've got the axe is looking good. I like this scene. It's it's very different. It doesn't really, for me, fit the theme so much, but it looks like a game I play in my childhood, I suppose. <laughs> I like these characters. That's good. Uh, this is really nice, isn't it? I prefer the first one. A nice portal there. So I, I think this is brilliant. I really do. I love this. Um, so we've got the Bomberman. And I think it's between that and uh, Philippe. So, ooh, that's a tough one. It's a tough one. I think, I'm, ew, that's, that's a tough one. Um, both, I think, have you both, I think both have won a competition before, so uh, doing very well. Um, I, oh, I'm, oh, it's very tough, very tough, because they're quite different, aren't they? We've got um, the sort of character style here which just is it's faultless really it's fantastic work uh, really nice and then we've got um, the scene here and there's lots of work gone into this uh, it looks really good um, oh dear dear it's just it's just the lighting for me I, it feels like a desk lamp is fair enough and I can but for the uh, feeling it gives me it's got a very dark feeling to it whereas the bomber man has a more nostalgic uh, look, I suppose. I'm going to go for Arcadius Phoenix. I can imagine people disagreeing with me on that one. Um, <laughs> it's a harsh one. It's difficult, isn't it? Um, but I am going to go for um, Arcadius Phoenix with their Bomberman character. It does look good fun. So a really well done to everybody that took part and of course a special well done to Arcadius Phoenix. I think the quality is really increasing in these competitions which is nice to see and if you want to get involved in the competition and you weren't uh, able to get involved with this one uh, then do get across to the Discord server and join us there and chat to us there and uh, you can join in the next one which I don't know what the theme is going to be yet so you can join in that discussion as well. So uh, well done once again and I will see you next time.